Here at Center High School, we value aspects of great rigor and strong relationships between staff and student body. Rigor for me is more about the quality of thinking rather than the quantity. I expect students to, to put forth the effort. First, the expectations have to be set by the adults um, and uh, we have to be able to create an environment where um, you know, all students are expected to learn at high level. I have some high expectations. I expect my students to come in and be willing to work. They're engaged, they're all participating, demonstrating their learning. Yeah, I hope they ask questions to dig a little bit deeper um, into the subject matter that we work on. Seeing students, you know, clean up after themselves, um, not only in the lunchroom, but like in the classroom when they, you know, they bring in their food and stuff like that. You know, showing up to practice on time, showing up to my classrooms on time. Buy a planner or just make sure that you're speaking to your teachers, make sure that you're on top of all your stuff. Your relationships with students really help them soar academically. I think relationships are the most important thing in education. It's important to have good relationships with your teachers because they are the people that will help you get farther in life. I expect them to show me a degree of manners and be nice. I am from the South. I like yes ma'am, no ma'am. I think other teachers have more of a traditional view of it, which would be more me. It kind of takes time. It's a two-way street. The respect uh, given to me is the same respect you're going to get back. But I think it goes both ways. I think there has to be a happy medium. You have to meet in the middle. It can't just be one side doing all the work type thing. You know, I don't like to teach with fear. Um, I want my students to know that they can trust me. They can come to me. As an educator, you really have to take the time to get to know your students. You have to play up to their strengths, know what they're about, know what their passions are. I think it's really completely individually based on the teacher, the class, the class size, the rapport that students have with one another has a lot to do with, you know, what kind of communication is acceptable and what kind is not. When you have a good relationship with your with your students, they feel safe, they feel confident. I'm here for students. I'm here for young people. I'm here to help them find their voices and find their confidence. Having a good relationship with your teachers and having that good communication, letting them know like what's going on, you're able to for example, get extensions are like they are more understanding of your situation. So if you don't communicate with the teacher, they won't know and they just assume that you aren't trying. Miss Howard, she's always been there for me. She always just, she's always there when I need her. Honestly, if I didn't have Miss Howard, I probably wouldn't be going to nobody. If I did not have the relationships that I do with my teachers, I don't think I would have made it this far. It's just important to listen to them because they all have so much to offer you. I think having a relationship at least I know who you are you know who I am um, and I kind of have a little bit of an idea how you react that's important for me. With these values both students and staff have been inspired and motivated to reach their fullest potential.